Auraria campus has undergone some Wi-Fi changes. Here's Alex Killen with an update. These days, campus Wi-Fi is more of a commodity than drinking fountains, and there's nothing worse than no Wi-Fi when you need it. I sat down with Mike Hart, Director of ITS Security, Infrastructure and Networking, to find out a little more about changes to campus Wi-Fi this semester and what MSU Denver's IT department is doing to help us get the connection we need. The biggest visible change to, to the users is eliminating the Auraria uh, guest network, which was wide open, no authentication needed. Instead of using the Auraria guest network, which on an average day would see over 40,000 devices connect, each school on campus now has their own guest network, which IT hopes will lead to less crowding. If you're an MSU Denver student, you'll have a much better chance connecting to the Metro State network than the new guest network. Right, we restrict the bandwidth on the guest network so that the many, many devices that are on the guest network don't overwhelm those who are actually, in effect, paying for that service by being a staff, faculty, or student member. Right. I also asked Mike about places on campus that might be better for Wi-Fi, or worse. Science, I would say, is probably the building that has the most problems. Other problem areas include the Plaza Building and West Classroom. You'll get the best connection in the Student Success Building or the Admin Building. According to Hart, they're also looking at upgrading the total bandwidth for the campus from about 1.3 gigabyte connection to a 4.5 gigabyte connection in the future. Well, I would say that uh, uh, look, look for uh, improvements to be coming. For the Met Report, Alex Killing.